Hi guys, welcome again to MacLuck155. The title of today's video is England, what happens next? I have also asked fellow YouTubers Dylan Lee Horton and Luca Corsa to give their views and answer my questions. Was Roy Hodgson right to resign as England manager after the poor performance at Euro 2016? Question 1. Was Roy Hodgson right to step down as England boss? He was never going to get another contract anyway. So, um, he lost to a country with only 300,000 people. There is one in a thousand chance that everybody from Iceland could have had the opportunity to play in that game against England. Corey Arneson, ex Millers man, love him to bits. He was rock solid against players like Vardy, Kane and Sturridge and Marcus Rashford. A player that we sold over to Malmo for 400 grand is making players on 100 plus grand a week look like an absolute mug. Something isn't right and, right, frankly, he should be. He should be sacked anyway. Was Roy Hodgson the right man to resign? Yes, I do believe so. I think he was the right man to be resigned because, to be honest, he made a lot of mistakes in, in the Euros because Harry Kane, why would you get a striker taking corners and free kicks? Why can England just not get someone like Wayne Rooney taking corners? England just don't have a good corner or a free kick like David Beckham, Gerrard and Lampard did. Because if you're going to get someone taking free kicks, go for Dyer. We saw what Dyer did against Russia in the European Championships. So why, why, why use Eric Dyer? Why can't, why not? And he's very young. So, and also why did England not start with Jamie Vardy? We saw what Jamie Vardy did in the, for Leicester, for Leicester's fairy tale, uh, last season. He won the Premiership for goodness sake. That's another thing why he makes some mistakes. And England kept starting the same team, pretty much. Because I remember England against Wales. England weren't really playing well to us until the last 20 minutes. But England fans were actually thinking, well, we might actually do something here. But, but yeah, but that's, that's why I think Roy Hodgson should have been resigned. Question 2. Do you think Wayne Rooney should step down as England captain? Should Wayne Rooney step down as England captain? Personally, I don't think so. I think Rooney's a great captain. He's a great player in the centre of midfield or up front. But now he's playing in a more central role where his um, moves and ball playing abilities are a lot better and more effective. And people notice him a lot more when you've got quick players like Sturridge and Vardy up front you can thread the ball to. Or somebody like Kane who's got an amazing shooting ability. Um, well, that's just what he suits. He's not doing anything wrong as really as England captain. I know we've just been kicked out by Iceland, as I just mentioned in the last question. But uh, he's not done anything wrong to be to be able to be forced to step down. So I think he should stay. Do you think Wayne Rooney should be dropped as captain? Percy, no, I don't think so, because you need that sort of experience in, in the England team, and you've seen likes of Steven Gerrard, Lampard and Bex have gone now, and you need Wayne Rooney in that team. He'll bring a lot of character to that team, and he has great leadership, and he has an excellent football brain, and he's really good delivering those balls to the actual striker. And also, you need young footballers that need older experience and footballers around him, to give him confidence when everything's not going when everything's not going their way, and also against a say for example a Dutch team, yes the speed is important, but sometimes you need a temper with experience, and I think he's going to be missed for Man United in England. So I think Wayne Rooney should stay for England. Question three. Should the likes of James Milner retire to give the youth more of a chance? Should James Milner and players of his calibre retire to give the youth a chance? Now, the youth have got the under-21s and the under-21s are absolutely fantastic. In my opinion, they're better than the actual team. They've got players like Nathan Redmond, Ruben Loftus-Cheek and players of that calibre that are so upcoming and so good, they should be in the first team. Now, James Milner, I personally like him, so I personally like him to stay. I just prefer like bringing in through um, from the under twenty ones into the first team players like Ruben Loftus Cheek, um, 
Will Hughes from Derby, Nathan Redmond and Thierry Abrahams from uh, Chelsea. Players like that would be great for the first team. Abrahams not go straight in there. Nathan Redmond, I just took him straight in there. We have not got a right side of midfielder. Loss's cheek is a brute in the centre of midfield. The games he played part end of last season for Chelsea, he was amazing. He's just very strong and very built. And not all the players like James Milner, but some players like him. So, yes and no. Should like to James Milner retire and give youth more a chance? Um, well, personally, I think, um, yes, you should give more youth a chance because, um, because it, what holds the future for England matters about the future because the thing is, you've got likes of Ross Barkley, Deli Alley, Eric Dyer, uh, you name them. And, uh, I personally think Milner should stay for for another year or two because the thing is that 30 years old, you can at least have at least a couple of good years in him and uh, I think maybe keep Milner for another year or two and also give more other players an opportunity to step up for their country. Who do you think the England manager should be? Who should be? England's next manager. In my opinion, Eddie Howe. Now, Eddie Howe is a young, upcoming manager. This could either go two ways for Eddie Howe. Could fuck up his career and could make his career. Now, Eddie Howe, I've seen him, I think it was three times, season when FC Bournemouth went up in the cup where they absolutely annihilated us. And that's when you could see what Eddie Howe could have done at Bournemouth. He's got them from the brink of administration, down in League 2, to the Premier League. Not managers can put that on their CV. When we played them, um, first time we played them at the Gold Stands, uh, there was a very good team. Only thing that separated us from them was that Lee Camp, the, our goalkeeper now, and the keeper at uh, Bournemouth back then, made a howler from a Jordan Bowery header. But they did very well when we played them at home. They're just amazing. They've got quality. And what Eddie Howe's done there is nothing short of a miracle. I know we always run about Evans and what he's done. He took us from League 2 to Championship. Eddie Howe has took that even step further. And if he can do that with a club like Bournemouth, who get, I don't know, 12, 13,000 at home, why can't he do that with a team like England? We've got the quality. We've got the players. We've got the speed. We, we don't have to spend any money. You've got thousands upon thousands of players to choose from. Can't go wrong. Who do you think should be the next England manager? Well, personally, for, for the England manager, if I have to pick, I'll go for someone like Alan Pardew. Alan Pardew will be a fantastic manager. You need a manager that actually wants to carry the England football team. Because well, I do not want a manager sort of like Gareth Southgate. Because we've seen, like, the bookies' favourites is Gareth Southgate. I do not, he, to me, he will remind me similar to another Roy Hodgson. And we don't want another Roy Hodgson type. So I personally, if I had to choose my England manager who I would go for, I can name more than one if I want to. I'm going to name for Alan Pardew or Glenn Hoddle. Or maybe we need a foreign manager. We may need a foreign manager because do you think it's time for a foreign manager? If I had to pick for a foreign manager, I would probably go for maybe Jurgen Klinsmann. What does the future hold for England's national team? What does the future hold for England? Now, England's future looks very bright with what's in the under-21s and with what's in the under-18s and players like Marcus Rashford. It looks very bright. We've got some very wise and bright upcoming talents coming through the ranks. I know there's more coming through every day. In my opinion, there should be players like Che Adams pushing into that uh, under-21s role. Uh, especially players like Jerry Yates, if you know what I'm saying, because Jerry Yates, you know, he is fantastic. But I, play, I think players should be coming up like that. And now we've left the EU, um, and uh, you only allowed certain recommending and players in your team. I think that that more players will be able to come up, and the f future does look bright for English football. What the future holds for the England national team? Well, personally, I do think we will have a good successful because if you look at the England young squad. What we've seen this season, you've got Deli Alley, who's really impressed on Spurs, coming from Milton Keynes Dons. 
after he left MK Dons after the 2014-15 season. You've got Harry Kane. Well, I know Harry Kane's not had a best tournament, but he will come on good. You've got uh, Rashford coming through. You've got Danny Welbeck coming back from injury next year. You've got Barkley. You've got Eric Dyer. You've got a young English potential squad. Jack Wilshere. So... Okay, do I reckon Will Hodgson was right to resign? Yes, definitely. All the mistakes he's been making in the Euros, his team selections, his substitutions, and his decision making throughout the game, especially his tactics. So, definitely a goner. Don't blame him for resigning. Right, should Rain really resign as a captain? Nah, no chance. A team like England, with all the youngsters we've got coming through, we need that bit of experience to guide them through the game and give them advice to develop into their full potential. So, Rooney's done nothing wrong, so why should he think about stepping down? He's been a great captain so far, and I'd like him to keep on being our captain. Should players like James Milner step down from international football to give youngsters a chance? I'd say yes, because otherwise how, is our, how are youngsters going to be given international experience when they're not going to be playing because managers will keep on picking the older experienced players of Milner, for example. How many players can play where Milner does? You've got Barkley, Dyer, Lalana, Wilshere, Henderson, Deli Alley. You can't give them all the chances if you're going to keep on picking players like Milner. Who do I reckon will be our next manager? Well, I agree with Luca, and I'd say Alan Pardew. He's got the experience managing senior players. He's got the passion for the football. And for me, he'll be the right sort of manager that could guide our upcoming youngsters through the game, along with Rain Rooney, to help them develop into world-class international footballers. And finally, does the future look bright for our national team? I say yes it does. The amount of upcoming youngsters who have the potential to be world class. Uh, well, mainly it's going to be down to who's going to be in charge all the time. So for me, Pardew. Then if they play the right tactics, use the right youngsters, then there is a, a bright future for us, especially with the World Cup coming up in 2018. Right guys, this is the end of my video. A massive thanks to Dylan Lee Horton and Luca Corta for giving up their spare time to record their answers to be in my video. Do make sure you subscribe to them. I'll put their YouTube channels in the description below. If you like the video, do give me some feedback and some thumbs up. And maybe even share the video if you think it was that good. And thanks again for watching. Until next time, have a great evening.